Hi, I'm Langjin Mathematics. Today we're going to talk about three different generations of calculators. To hack ungrouped data on mean, variance, and standard deviations. Oh yeah. Hello everybody. Welcome to Langjin Mathematics Measures of Dispersion on Ungrouped Data. So today, we're going to talk about these six friends getting like different different results over here and I'm gonna check like their mean, variance, standard division and all these like usual uh, information that we're gonna get in our normal measures of dispersion okay so let's get started we are not going going to like the in-depth on how to do the calculation and everything but we are going in-depth in-depth on what on how to get all these little figures okay all these little figures using our calculators okay so calculators as in there's two more okay so calculators now so we start off with fx570 ms so first thing first of all you have to press on and then you have to make sure you press mode two times sd you gotta press one sd stands for that standard division if i'm not mistaken so over here there's a little sd symbol there so make sure you have that okay so make sure you get that little sd there and next you're gonna start input all these six six good friends mathematic results into the calculator so what, you, what we're going to do is right, we start off with Aaron 92 marks we're going to press this M plus 2 insert so once you insert so this one indicates like one person and Mika 68 you're going to press M plus don't press equal press equal gone already so suppose when you keep stacking up right so N means the number of you know so suppose there will be six huh, finally then we're going to add Goku 75 M plus M plus means you're gonna map it, it's sort of like a memory la, so it's saved into your calculator. So next Izuku 71 then Jimin 87 Luffy 82 So once you press it total there's six there right okay nice we're gonna press AC so when you press AC everything is already saved into your calculator and now you're gonna press like shift one so that you can get all these figures you see like for mean you have your you have your 475 there, right? You see the symbol that I labeled there for you? Uh, so, like like the 475 here is like the total up everything. Of course, you can type like one by one yourself, but if let's say there's like more figures there, so sometimes you might get like wrongly. So just use calculator to have it. So you press 2, press equal, ta-da! And of course, that, that N is like 6 there, but never mind. We just press like shift 1. So you press the number 3 there. You get your 4. And you, know, you press equal, you get your 6 there. So if, if, let's say you're going to say like, oh teacher, I get all the figures really, I want to get the final answer, do, do I have to like divide it to get it, don't it? You're going to press like shift, okay, sorry, you're going to press AC again, oops. So go back, shift, press 2 there, so can you see this number 1 there? Ah, so that's the one, boom, you press equal, you see, you get the answer already. But of course, um, it depends, for my case, I put like 3 decimal points, you want to put 2 decimal points, it, it's good enough. But the more the better lah, I suppose. Okay, next, you're gonna press like uh, on again. So go back to your uh, standard division calculation. But suppose in your calculator it displays standard division. So as you can see, this variance over here, right? This variance, uh, we're gonna get like this huge figure there. So shift one. So remember this number one there. So you can press number one. You see the symbol there, plays it nicely for you already. So you're gonna press one, boom, you get the figure there. So six is like the usual one. Lah. Then of course you can fit the mean side. But to me, right? Remember, don't ever press like all these things because your decimal points there, eh, it will affect your answer one. So to get the most accurate answer, use your calculator. So you're gonna go back, shift two. So as you can see that two there, it shows you like this standard deviation symbol. I repeat, uh, this is variance, you know. So once I get standard deviation answer, I'm gonna square it, square this answer to go back to my variance. Ah, so you press num number two, ignore the X, so press number two press equal Tada! so once you get this answer suppose that's your standard division you know so you're gonna square it bang you press equal saw that but of course for me like what i mentioned i make it like two decimal point three decimal points up to you lah huh? so that's for your fx570 ms wrap okay hi so let's go into our next calculator which is fx570 es plus my favorite calculator so as usual you can press on and you can press mode for this case it will be you're gonna press number three 
where it shows their stat. So stat says what? Statistic. You get a press tree. So when you press tree, you get all these like weird little stuff there, right? Ignore it. Sorry, something in my mouth. Okay, now. So you're gonna press AC. Suppose there's an AC there. Okay, so you're gonna press it. So you just exit. As long as you see that STAT there, it's good enough. Okay, now. You're gonna start insert your information. So how are you gonna do that? You're gonna press like shift. You press one. Then you select data. You press number two. You're gonna start insert your information for Aaron, Mika, and so on. So we're gonna start off with Aaron 92. And then you're gonna press equal for this case to move to the next one. Okay, next. You're gonna be Mika. Next, you're gonna be Goku. Next, you're gonna be Izu Izuku 71. Jimin 87. Luffy 82. So once you enter everything, suppose you get a 7 there, just ignore it. Okay, now, as usual, press AC. Everything is saved in your calculator. And now, you're going to start getting all your information by pressing Shift Stat again. So when you press your Shift Stat, right? So you notice you get that sum. You see that sum there, the variance there. That's the two info that it allows me to get all the information in my working. So as usual, I already said your workings everything you can check out like uh, the previous videos on episode 37 38 so everything over here is like nicely written i'm getting all this information without pressing all this info one by one but everything is already inserted into my calculator to get it so i get number three there okay now so i press number three so as you can see these these two little symbols there already is written nicely for you so we start off with the main information that i want so i press number two there so i press that the symbol comes out, I press equal, I get my 475. It's the same thing, right? Okay, next. You're going to press AC again. Then you press shift 1. You go back to your number 3 there. Okay, number 3. Sorry, because I'm going to get N now, so you must select your number 4. So when you select number 4, you can see that N. Uh, so you press equal. Suppose student will say like, oh, did you 6 only? But sometimes, let's say your figure is like quite huge, right? Then maybe you have to use like uh, that, 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 that function there lah, to get your total N there. Okay, especially when you come into form 5, you have this thing called group data and that will be different then you, you have to use your N because there will be like huge amount of like uh, frequencies there. Okay, N is the number of frequency, la, uh, total frequency. Okay, so uh, we have like the 475 in the calculator I already said. You can press shift 1, right? So we go, go back to like shift number 1, you see? You can select either 3 or 4, okay? Now, so to get your mean answer without typing like 475 divided by 6, right? You can press like number 4 again. And you see that uh, mean symbol there. Press number 2, press equal. Your answer is that. As usual, either you put like 2 decimal point, 3 decimal point. That's up to your preference. But minimum, please put 2. Uh, minimum, please put 2 decimal points. Okay, press AC again. Go back. Now we're going to go into like our variance. Where like what I mentioned, calculator only allows... You see, can you see that number three, ignore the X, huh? number four is not in our syllabus, huh? just ignore it. So we're going to go into like this uh, standard division symbol, X ignore. So suppose you get this final figure there, right? Uh, so in order to get your variance answer, you're going to go back. Uh, but before that, let's make sure we can work out this 38047 in right, the perfect way. So you're going to press AC again, shift one, get that number three there. Wow, you see that? You press equal, tada, that's the one. And six is the usual one. And the means the usual one. And please don't type like all these things and press like your minus, your square, everything because decimal point affects your answer. I need that most accurate answer in your calculator. AC again, shift, one, go back to number four, press that number three, press equal, tada, it's your standard division answer. But since I'm writing my variance halfway, right, please square it square it and press equal go back to that original answer put one or maybe three decimal points cool so that's for your fx570 es plus my favorite calculator hello next it will be fx570 ex the youtuber calculator okay so as usual you press your on of course and then you press your menu and you're gonna take this like up down left and right just go around but you need to select number six uh, you need to select number six where we name it as statistics press equal to insert and don't press anything over here just press ac to go off so that it becomes like the statistics calculator okay now 
you got to press like option so that you can insert all your data. Okay, so you got to press number three. And when you go into number three, you get this X. You can insert all your informations from these six wonderful students. But of course, for form five version, right, there will be this thing called extra frequency. We have to type other things. But that, that one you can refer to the other the other videos that I talk about, which is in your episode 41, if I'm not mistaken. But that's for form five, okay? This is for form four. Now, so you're going to insert like Aaron. You're going to insert Mika. Goku. Izuku. Jimin. So you see I press equal to insert their information inside. You ignore the number seven. So everything is really inserted uh, nicely. You're going to press AC to exit. AC, don't press on, uh, remember, uh, press AC to exit. Everything is already saved inside. Now, the wonderful thing comes in ready. All this information that I written here nicely for you, you just have to press like shift, shift, oh no, no need shift lah. Press shift for what? Press option, can ready, look at this calculator, how wonderful. You see, press that number two there, just option can ready, don't press shift uh. option can ready. Press two. Yeah. Oh, hey, see that? Can you see your median answer is already there? And your EX is already there, 475. And of course, that total 6, you can count it yourself. Lah. But if let's say you want, you can just press down. You can see that N there is given that. Then you go up again, you can see your, uh, see that? Your standard deviation symbol there, 8.59. Uh, and your uh, standard deviation with the square there, that's the variance. Lah. You see the answer, everything is there already. And your, can your, see? The AX squared, then you see that 38047, everything nice, nice for you already. Okay? Chun. Ciao.